Okay, here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. These are both Aloe Glow waters. First up is Aloe Glow Lemonade. Next up is Aloe Glow White Grape. And so these are both from the same company. They're the same type of water. They're, they both have Aloe Vera like gel or liquid or whatever added to the drink. And so Aloe Vera is mostly known for like healing burned skin. But the bottles say that it's also healthy to drink, which some people actually kind of debate whether that's true or not. But I'm going to try these out and decide which one I think tastes better. So these are both organic and they're both made in California. They actually, they're both basically identical. It's just they're different flavors. They both have... 36 calories, 10 grams of carbs, 20 milligrams of sodium. Both of their ingredients include water, organic aloe vera, uh, inner leaf powder, organic cane sugar, malic acid, natural flavors, and stevia. And they're both gluten-free. They're both 300 milligrams. Oh, they both have 300 milligrams of aloe vera. And... You know, they're both from California. Um, I bought both of them from the store Giant Eagle. And I personally, in general, prefer lemonade over grape. Just the, the flavor. But I'm going to try them out, give them a fair shot. And here we go. They uh, It's neat that they have unique colors for the lids. I guess it helps you know, identify um, what the flavor is. But it's just a neat... Like, extra step, extra little Easter egg or whatever that they um, put in the design. Yeah, there's, a, there's a weird smell to it. it smells like a, like a plastic bag, kind of. Okay, let's just taste it. Here we go. It's got a different taste to it. It's a unique taste. The f lemonade is not the first thing that comes to my mind. Uh, I'm going to pour it into this glass. Just because they have the label covering the whole drink. And I want to see what color it is. It's pretty clear, actually. A um, little tiny bit foggy, but overall it's pretty clear, actually. Hmm. That's a weird taste. I, I, it's hard to describe. It's kind of sugary. Kind of just a weird... It's not, it's not bad tasting at all. It's um, different. It tastes like kind of like a cactusy kind of plant. I've I've had cactus water in the past, and that's not what it tasted like. But yeah, that's just the thing that comes to my mind. Yeah, this one has a more of a grape uh, smell to it. Yeah, it definitely tastes like a grape. Um, it's not like a strong flavor either, but it's not mild. It's just right, in, you know, in the middle. There's not much else to like say about it, really. As far as the flavor goes, it, you kind of get the flavor more. As, at the aftertaste, like when it's going, when, when the when the drink is in your mouth and it's going down your throat, you don't really taste it. But as soon as you start breathing, like it activates the uh, flavor sensors on on your mouth or something like that. Yeah, this is kind of a close one. There's no like clear winner.
Um, I'm just going to say that I guess I prefer the lemonade. But it's, it's really pretty close, actually. <clears throat> there was a guy on YouTube who also reviewed this. <clears throat> and he was saying that aloe vera can cause cancer. So I googled that and there's some articles about that. Where it, if you just search Google for aloe vera rats cancer, there's um, some studies that show aloe vera causing cancer in rats. So maybe that's just something you should be aware of. I'm obviously not. I'm not worried about it for two bottles of aloe vera, but um, you know, if that was if this is something you drink every single day, maybe it might increase your chance of having cancer by some tiny percent or something but just for a single bottle I'm not worried at all yeah like they're both pretty equal it just comes down to your own personal preference if you prefer grape get the grape if you prefer lemonade get the lemonade but I'm going with the lemonade because that's what I like so thanks for watching everyone, goodbye.